Hey everybody, how's it going? This is uh, Kasuja again. Today, uh, as promised, of course, I um, I want to show the uh, the vehicle mode of the this uh, Water Patron, well, Jimbao Bruticus. Uh, of course, this is a, a knockoff of the uh, Water Patron. They're um, oversized. You guys know that already. Uh, but well. I just wanted to show you the uh, the vehicle molds of all of them after the um, the customized paint and stuff. And like in the previous video, I show you uh, individually on both molds. Uh, but well, let's just not make this video so long. Let me see. Let me move this guy a little bit that way. Let me get my camera a little closer. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Cool. There. Okay. Swindle. I like this color better than the original, honestly. This is more like uh, I was using uh, the unique to no this is unique toys? Yeah, the unique toys uh Bruticus colors palette. And pretty happy with it so far. I added some details here with uh, enamel paints. This was very fun to paint, especially down the, right there on that little spot. I wish I would have had more um, time to to add more details, but it's just so hard sometimes. And this is why I'm taking so long to make to post these videos. But okay. Next. Okay, let's do this guy. Right here. Uh, Vortex. Yes, Vortex. The big issue with uh, this, even the Warbatron has the same problem. This, um, I guess they didn't calculate this right because this always keeps hitting the, the back part and the little thing there, it broke. I broke it. Oh well. So that's that. That's Vortex. I put a little repro label there. I think overall he's a very cool helicopter. Maybe I think I should be there. No, that's too low. Maybe there. Yes, I think it's better. That way the tail is not on the like on the floor. Very cool. I think I needed to could add more details on this guy. Maybe on the blades. <sighs> I've just been lazy, I guess. Try to finish this project as fast as I can. Alright. Next. <clears throat> Blast off. Uh, this one I'm not so happy with. Um, yeah, I think that all, the whole um, purple here and brown there. Uh, I mean, on both mode looks very cool, but once I transform it, it's not the best. I should have calculated this better. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this guy again. I just need more time and start all over again and take off all the paint get more paint oh yeah long story oh well we'll see i don't know let me know your thoughts about this guy maybe you guys like it probably won't do anything at the end i'm just very busy with work i'm a full-time tattoo artist almost 11 years tattooing barely have time for myself too many clients, which is good. I'm not complaining, which is good. That's a uh, brawl. I love brawl. He looks so cool. Very cool tank. He's one of my favorites so far. He should be bigger, I think, though. He's too little. Like, compared to Swindle, he should be bigger. And once you transform it, once you combine them, this looks like a very thin 
skinny leg, which in compared with Swindle, he looks thicker, bigger. Mm. He should have been bigger. Hopefully, um, I think Seda Toys nailed it. They made a very chunky tank, which looks really cool when it's combined. And finally, Onslaw. Beast. Huge. I wish I had my Optimus Transform, so we can do like a nice size comparison. Yeah, also it's very cool. I love how uh, the engineering for this uh, Warbatron, you know, we were able to use all the pieces once we combine for um, to Bruticus because uh, this this part you know becomes uh, the legs and I think that's very pretty clever we, they, we don't really have many parts parts forming like they said and I think that's very cool Overall, I think Jim Bao has done a great job, like making an oversized version of this Warbotron Bruticus. Because um, it looks very cool with my collection. It's almost the same size of the Unique Toys Bruticus. Well, I'm not gonna take so much of your time, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll be making a. Uh, the combine, uh, the combine mode, hopefully very soon. I'm gonna try to do it fast, but um, yeah. Well, right now I'm working on uh, spray paint. I mean airbrushing, airbrushing, because this was all done with spray paint. And now I'm gonna try the airbrushing. I think uh, so far it's good. It's a little hard, a little bit harder, I would say. Because I'm still working with this all uh, thinning the paint and stuff. Um we'll see, we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.